hey y'all welcome to my video so today in my video i'm doing a challenge and it's un unbe reefable diy challenge that's a mouthful so our hosts today are cj from cj diys jackie from crafting in mimi's world and christine from diy craftaholic and these are some of my favorite crafters so i was very thankful to be a part of this challenge with them. So today, you guys, in my first DIY here, in my unbelievable arts and craft inspiration that I'm going to have for you today, I have quite a few today, so stick with me. I will try to cut this out and make this as fast as I can for you guys. So today, I'm doing a little bit of a Dollar Tree um, DIY, and then I got the yarn there from Walmart. I took off the backing from that and here is just a little bit so if you guys ever want to pick up um, this yarn from Walmart. So the first thing I did obviously was remove the sticker from the back, the um, hardware and now I'm removing off this welcome sign on the first one I made because I do have two of these that I'm doing. On the first one I tried to rip up the paper it was kind of hard. So I decided not even to mess with it for the second time because you really can't tell or you can't see it. And it was kind of a waste of a time. So don't worry about that anyways because I'm literally just going to glue this yarn right on top, you guys. And this was really simple, really fast. Um, this part did kind of take a little bit and I did do two of them. So it did take me a little bit, but it was pretty quick all in all. Um, DIY today pretty simple and I'm just using hot glue and this is what it looks like once I get it um, all the way done and then when I get to the center here I just put a dollop of um, hot glue in there and I tried to be very slow and very careful so I didn't burn my finger here and I will tell you that I burnt up my fingers mostly my thumb throughout this entire video <laughs> so there's that but that was pretty simple, pretty easy right there. But I will tell you that I didn't like the sides. So I decided I was going to go ahead and do the sides. And that did take um, twice to go around that entire side. So here I'm just showing you um, that it did take me two of those loops, I guess, to go around the entire thing. And I already did one. And now I was just showing you a little bit of the second one. So I have these uh, like chockable chips here. I believe they come from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not exactly sure where those came from, you guys. And I don't think I've ever seen them since. So I'm not sure. I'm sorry about that. But I think they did come from the Dollar Tree once upon a time. So I just glued that little chalk chip there in the center. And then I have this cute little bee that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use this Gorilla um, Clear Glue. And then I'm also going to use a um, hot glue on this just for like a permanent hold. And then like a for now hold just so it will stay on for now with that hot glue. And this is so cute. I tried to make this a little farmhouse-y, but even though the yellow is kind of bright there. But <laughs> that's what Color Honey is. A nice little, not bright yellow, more like a brownish yellow or something but I'm just using my husband's little um, kit that he has here to screw that back in and I found a lot of this yarn um, or not yarn excuse me this ribbon I found a lot of um, this little gingham check ribbon from the Dollar Tree this year and I'm sorry I don't know where I got that black that little black roll that I'm using to tie um, the middle here, it's like a black twine. I have no idea where I got that. I cannot remember to save my life. But I know it was one of the craft stores like Hobby Lobby or Michael's or possibly even Joann's because I used to work there too. So it could be um, from there as well. But I just pop a little bow tie or not bow tie, but like a bow on that on there. And then I decided to do it on this one as well. Now, I end up ripping this off here be just because those were like, I don't know, those little, I forget what those are even called, 
but they were too bulky, like bulky on there. I don't know. It just, it looked kind of funky. So I decided to use these instead. And I got the, this little pick, I believe from Walmart or the Dollar Tree, one of the two, I think it was Walmart actually. And then I just kind of popped these all around, um, this little bow that I made and I just made a bow and then I added like little pieces on top of the bow to kind of make it look thicker, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> It turns out cute. But yeah, this, and then I found, I was like, uh, I have these a whole bunch of buttons from the Dollar Tree. And I found this one, it had a little bit of white on the, or white, it has a little bit of yellow on the top and then the rest was black. I thought it fit so perfect. That yellow just matched and you can't really see it that great here. So I'm sorry, you know, I, I use my phone to record. <laughs> But it's going to come out and say original here. And it's basically going to be be original. I love that. And then I use my little gel pen there to kind of do those eyes. Or eyes dots. <laughs> so you guys, for my next DIY, is pretty fast, pretty simple. It's from the Dollar Tree. I found this little tote bag. And I ended up using that Crafter's Square... Um, what is that? Like a marker? That What do they call that? Metallic marker? And then they also have like an ornament one. I believe I'm using the ornament one on there. It might have been the metallic. One of the two. They both are the same thing, honestly. And then I like to use my Tombow uh, markers here. And I just color it in the B. And that's all I'm going to do to this entire bag here is pretty much color it in. Um, so I'm probably going to cut that most of that out so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me um, color them in because that's basically all I'm doing is just coloring this part in here so let me go ahead and cut the rest of this out for you guys so you can see kind of what I do next to it um, because I am going to be making this into a like little pillow for my um, chair in my art room because I've noticed my back a little bit is kind of hurting a little bit so I decided to make me a little pillow for that chair and this is pretty much going to be it, you guys. So, and I've almost colored the entire thing in talking now that I noticed. But next, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top of this little um, tote bag. And these are cute, you guys, anyways, instead of reusing the same Dollar Tree bags over and over and over again. Um, you can buy up these little bags and just use them to keep also in your car you know so you can use these reusable bags instead of the dollar tree bags when you go shopping and that's a, that's an idea that i like to do also so you could find these cute little bags color them up and also use them for your grocery bags at the dollar tree so i have this old pillow stuffing and i ended up just rip, ripping it in half and using half of it i didn't make it quite as full as i probably should have um, I probably should have checked that at first. So this ends up not being having enough stuffing in it, but it's okay. It ends up working out for my back on my chair. Um, yeah. So I use a little bit of, this is like a fabric glue. And let me tell you guys, this glue is pretty smelly. It's very strong. I don't like to use it often, but I do have it because it does work for fabric. And then, of course, I use a little bit of hot glue just to hold it down for right now so it'll stay in place. And then I just clip, use some clips or some clamps or whatever the heck you want to call those things. And that's pretty much it. And I just let it sit overnight just so that, um, what you call it, that fabric glue kind of has a time to do its thing. And that's pretty much it for you guys this, for this, or that I can't even talk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I decided I wanted to add a bow. I almost forgot about this, you guys. I did add a cute little bow. I got that little ribbon from, or I guess it's kind of like a faux lace from the Dollar Tree. And then, of course, those buttons, again, that I'll be using throughout my entire video, you guys. And I'm just going to show you a quick little final reveal of this on my chair because I'm not going to show you it at the end. But the rest of them I do show you. So... For this next DIY, what is this DIY number three now? I have quite a few DIYs. I kind of went crazy because bees are actually my favorite. Um, in sunflowers, I didn't try to use a lot of sunflowers in this just because I didn't want to like 
make it all about sunflowers. I wanted to keep it more bee-ish. So if you guys didn't know, I do have a tattoo on my arm with a sunflower and a bee with some honeycomb there. <laughs> I, I really enjoy the bees and the sunflowers. I could sit and watch them all day long. So now that I'm yam like babbling and yambling on here, I have this light from the Dollar Tree. I have two ropes that I show you here, you guys. I literally had to go back. We went to four different Dollar Trees. The fourth one finally had some rope. None of them have any rope. I'm not sure what's going on, but that one Dollar Tree, I swear, had all the rope <laughs> because I finally found one and I was grateful because I didn't think I was going to be able to finish this DIY for you guys. So first I take my little um, wood burning tool. It's actually what this thing is right here. And I have a bunch of little like ends that you can like screw into the bottom of it. And of course I'm um, snacking on my shakes. If you guys didn't know, I, ha I drink two shakes a day with some sea moss. And it's really been helping me have a lot of energy. So been lo I've been loving that. So basically what I'm trying to do here is make the hole just a tad bit bigger because I found that beeswax candle from the Dollar Tree, which I could have made my own, but I already saw it and I just grabbed it and it saved me a little bit of time actually to do this DIY and I really didn't want to use my expensive organic beeswax that I have because I also love to make candles as well. I do that also for fun and yeah it was just easier to grab this one from the Dollar Tree and less time so I just wanted to see like I said if that would fit in there because I wanted to make it look like there was honeycomb inside of this um, and it does it works out so great I really loved I really love this DIY this is one of my favorites I'm not sure if anybody else has done this I'm pretty sure somebody's probably at least made this into a beehive they've had to have i mean i know i'm not the only one that just thought of this um so if you've done something like this let me know down in the comments so i can head over to your channel and try to search and find that for you and watch that video because that's what i do i spend my time watching other people's videos and making videos myself so I'd love to check that out if you've already done something similar to this or maybe something almost close. So I did end up taking, because there's like this weird little groove in the bottom of it, um, I try to put in some of the, what is that, the jute cord, well, I forget what that's called, the rope thing. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure what they call that from the Dollar Tree exactly. I, my mind's going a little bit blank right now on that one. But like I said, I ended up having to go back and find a third one because you actually need three to do this. And then I just started at the very, very top here and went completely all the way around. Now, I will say when I got around to the mouth part, like the, where the hole is on here, I did cut strips to go around that. I did not like try to make it like an endless rope around it. I did end up cutting around the mouth part, um, little strips just to go around it. And then it stops at the beginning, which you'll see here in, in the video, kind of sort of what I'm saying here. Um, but this is it. I just use hot glue, you guys. Hot glue works just fine. It It's still holding up right now. So <clears throat> now when I came to the end of the rope, I did cut that little end off just because I wanted the, the it to like um, stop in the back. Like I didn't want the seams to be in the front, which I probably could have and then hit it, ended up hiding it with that B. But it's okay. Now this I got from the Dollar Tree. It actually, it's actually like in a garland pack. And I just decided to use one of them. Color it in. I used that, um, what is that, that, ornament marker or whatever the metallic white marker from the Dollar Tree and then for the like the wings and then I did the rest with my Tombow the Tombow markers y'all I love those things I use those quite often obviously you've seen me do that <laughs> and then I just outlined um the wings on here I thought that just really made it pop and bring this to life you guys what do you think do you would you have just left it with no pop or like with a pop. 
And then I decided, you know, this looks like one big wing. So I wanted to try to make it into the two wings. And I did little dashes just so I would have like a nice straight line and then filled it right on in. And I think it looks adorable. Now I decided to cover up that hole in the top. I used some, um, I don't know, some people call it pipe cleaner, Chanel stems, fuzzy sticks. There's all kinds of names for them, obviously. But I just did a little bit of glue. I went ahead and let that hole fill in a little bit there. And then I added, you know, when it dried, I added on the hot glue and just made little ear or whatever those are, antennas, ears. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometime doing these videos. <laughs> Yeah, but that's it. I just added that to the top, you guys. Of, And I'm sorry I'm off frame here because it's really hard to do some of these things in the, the camera. So that's it. And then I just trimmed off the extra little piece. And here I was thinking about adding a button, but I decided not to. There I'm showing you. I didn't get to finish the little bottom part or cover up the little hole because you can see like where all the ends from the rope are <laughs> yeah so then I covered the hole twice I did one in the inside and then one on the outside to cover up all the fraying and then now I wasn't I didn't like that you could see the um the seams from doing this so I decided to take I was going to do a third one I was like nah I think it looks fine with just two I did have to go in and kind of cover up a little bit of the extra sides that you could see a little bit um, from looking inside of it with this jute rope, which it's pretty simple. It kind of just hid a little bit of the, um, the clear plastic, I guess you could see inside. But that's all I was doing there, you guys. Just stuffing in some around that um, candle. And making sure that candle is going to be kind of secure, you know, inside of there. and doesn't move around. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do here. And I don't know why I'm dragging this on for you. I'm so sorry. Then I was like, mm, I was going to use the B to cover it up. And I was like, eh. I didn't. I just put the B up at the top. And I don't know why I use that much hot glue. Because sometimes I just don't be thinking. I just be doing. <laughs> And then you just do a simple little like shoelace bow. Instead of tying it together, I just kind of bended it to make it look like a bow, I guess. Tie it in the middle with that same um, jute cord that I've been using. I wish I could remember where I got that from. I am so sorry, you guys. But I just popped that right on the front. And y'all, I will show you more of this when at the final reveal of it hanging up and stuff all together with all the other DIYs I make today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So what, we're on what, DIY number four or something? I don't know. I made like six or seven for this video, so I apologize. It's kind of long. Um, next, I'm going to use my little Cricut Joy. Now, you guys, let me tell you a little story about my Cricut Joy. I was intimidated by this little thing for like over a year. I got it for Christmas, and it sat in a box for over a year before I actually took it out and learned how to use it. And it took me getting really sick for a really long time for me to just sit down and try to learn this and that's exactly what I did <clears throat> so after I cut out those pieces I use this little cardstock paper that I got from Amazon it says unbelievable honey and like I said I cut out those little pieces um, on my Cricut those that was actually that yellow is cardstock as well and that's just something I recently learned how to do. So was to use cardstock instead of, um, cause I was going to use vinyl from the Dollar Tree, like that yellow vinyl for these. And I decided not to, I was going to try cardstock and it actually worked. So here I am using this reef. Okay. You guys, I didn't like the color of it at first. I have, I still have a bunch of the, um, antique wax from what is that it, I used to be able to get it at Walmart but I don't know where to get that stuff anymore I'm sorry but it's by Waverly 
You might be able to order off Amazon or something. Somebody may know and can comment, comment, excuse me, that in the comment section down below if you know where I can get some more Waverly paint. I think somebody had told me to once upon a time and I forgot where she said I could get it from. It was probably me watching a video late night, sleeping, and yeah. So I saved you the headache of trying to watch me do bows because I, I just watch other people do bows and that's just how I learned how to do a bow. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to do a bow. If you guys would like a bow tutorial, I'm pretty sure I could do one for you, but I didn't, I tried to save you a little bit of headache on that. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch me make bows over and over again through this whole entire video. Now, this part was probably a little bit unnecessary. I used a little bit too much because when I hung it up later, it did kind of drip down a little bit because it wasn't completely dry like I thought it was. And that's okay. I just wiped it up. But since this is cardstock, you can see like where glue marks and stuff are. So just an FYI, maybe just hot glue would probably been just fine on this and not that other glue. But like I said, I really want my stuff to be durable and I kind of jumped the gun of hanging it up a little bit, but you can't really tell at all unless you're like right there. You'll see the little tiny glue drip at the top. <laughs> but this is for me, so it's not that big of a deal. And then I ended up stuffing these in there. I ended up stuffing a few others. I don't think I end up showing you on the video, but that's pretty much what I end up doing is stuffing some greenery around here. I do take some baby's breath and stick those in there, but you'll, you'll see all that at the final reveal. There's no sense if you guys happen to watch me glue all these pieces in and down and around and whatever, <laughs> but it's so cute. My little reef. I'm not a big reef maker, you guys. So this, this is what you're getting for me. I have this cute little thing. I, oh my goodness. It's so cute. This little bee on a ladder I found at the Dollar Tree is so cute. I loved it. I had to add it. <laughs> and then I'm just using, what is that? What is that? Ribbon. That's what I used for the top here. A little bit of black ribbon. Just to tie it all in. And that's pretty much it for that one. So you guys, what are we on? DIY number five or something now I'm also going to be using my Cricut and I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree um, sign. In here, I'm just showing you, I'm cutting it out. It's a pretty simple, easy little project. Now, you guys, if you really want things to be, be like exactly perfect, yeah, I didn't get my little decal on there perfectly. I still need to pay attention probably to that. Um, when placing them down because I did get this on Crooked, but that's okay. That's all right, right? It's just a little Cricut. What I could could do is add just another little B down there at the end to kind of make it not seem so Cricut, but it's fine. But first I went around the edges there with that Waverly wax just to kind of make it more of a farmhouse kind of feel because I like the, the darker wood like that. And then I do end up making me a little bow here. It's just a little quick, one of those little quick fold over bows. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And I use this honeycomb um, ribbon and I also use that gingham. I got both of those from the Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five, you guys. You can't beat that for a little little bit of um, ribbon that they give you. I mean, that's that's a good deal because I was gonna order some and I decided not to spend you know twenty bucks on a couple of things of ribbon and just buy a few from the Dollar Tree and use those. Now I probably would have had to order some if I had not found these. I probably would have, but I found these and that was a blessing. So I'm gonna use them. I'm sorry if you guys can't find these now, but really any ribbons will do. It doesn't have to be exactly these. It could be what you love and what you want to put on yours, right? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, I felt like the hanger didn't match anymore. I didn't really feel like taking my, um, what you call that, that wax. I didn't really want to wax those up to make it match. So, and you know, it just looked kind of funky to me with the white vinyl 
So I do take that off. I do not use it again in this video, but I'm pretty sure you will see me use it in a video, in another video in the future, y'all. And I thought about using those cute little bees I also found from the Dollar Tree, but I do use all those later. You will see that in another DIY. Now, what was what was that? What did it say? Lamb's ear? Lamb's ear, I think it said. <laughs> Where did I get those? Walmart, I think? Walmart. Pretty cheap. Y'all, I ended up not doing this because I felt, I felt like it was too ginormous <laughs> on there. <laughs> Didn't it look ginormous? I don't know, y'all. It looked big to me. So I just kind of broke it down in a little section here. Made this little piece like this. Add a little bow. Y'all, these are so fun. I'm so grateful that the Dollar Tree is coming out with these signs. We ain't got to rip apart all up all like we used to do. <laughs> I mean, I still do that on some signs, but these are so cute. I mean, they they're cheaply made, obviously, but not bad just to DIY with and put up in your home for cheap instead of spending lots of money on stuff. What'd you guys think? And then I just took, like I said, I took off that hanger and then I just added this one, which I probably could have not even put that on there because I end up not using that. I end up just setting it on my shelf. You'll see later in the final reveal, y'all. And then I just added a few extra little pieces here and there just to kind of hide the, the imperfection in the back there. And that's pretty much it, y'all. This thing was simple, easy, and cute. All right, now this next one's pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty fast as well. It didn't take me but a few minutes to make. Um, here I'm using this little flower pot, these from the Dollar Tree ribbons. I'm using some moss. I'm using one of those little fairy gardens out of there. I'm using two um, Dollar Tree tumbling tower pieces. I'm using that Dollar Tree angel, but I'm going to turn it into a fairy and then I'm going to use that black cardstock there. Now, I decided that I didn't feel like fussy cutting and messing around with trying to figure that out to fit down in there. So this little top to the bead, or the beads, the, what are those? Buttons. Fit the top perfectly on that little Dollar Tree, what you call it? Um, what are those little pots? They're like called something. Why do I always get a brain fire when trying to make videos? What are those little pots? The little orangey looking pots. I forget what they're called, y'all, right now off the top of my head. But I did paint it black with the chalk paint from the Waverly chalk paint or folk art paint. I forget which one it was. Then I'm using that Waverly wax to go all over this little... It's actually an angel. You get those from the Dollar Tree. But I had another one that I had used for a baby in a tumbling tower like jingle block family and i took the wings off and i kept the wings so i decided to make it into a fairy instead of an angel and now i'm just doing a little white washing uh what do you call this distressing or something over top of this just to kind of tone down the darkness and to make it look like more like a fairy angel i don't know what i'm doing here y'all <laughs> But I just thought of it, and it's cute. Somebody else might have thought of this as well. Who knows? If you did, let me watch your video. I'd love to watch it and see what you did. Um, and then I'm just painting up those wings because they're kind of like an off-white color, and I don't know. I just wanted to match. To match. Yeah. We just wanted to match. Did both of them, both sides. Um, just in case you could see the other side, which I doubt you will, but here we are. <laughs> just wanted it to be all nice and neat, I suppose. Okay, so then we glue the two Jenga tumbling tower block, yeah, pieces down on there. I am going to use a little bit of that, um, clear glue and then the hot glue for right now hold. And then I just pop that right on down there. It just fit perfectly, y'all. And then we're going to go ahead and get some moss. I also got that jar from the Dollar Tree, y'all. And I got a bunch of jars when they were a dollar. And then I got a bunch more when they were $1.25. So, I mean, even still for a dollar 
$25. That's a very great deal for these little canisters. I just love them. I actually want to buy a crap ton more because right now I just have plastic, really nice actually plastic containers that I bought for my kitchen that holds like my spelt flowers and chickpea flowers and, you know, my date sugar, stuff like that. I would actually like to get those in glass containers instead of my plastic ones. So that's something I'd like to also do in the future as soon as I see some more of those jars. But here I am wrapping it now. I'm only gluing the top because I want this to be like a little skirt around this. And it's not going to fit snugly, obviously, because it's going to be like a skirt. And then I glued the little bottom piece down so it stays together and it's not all wild in the back. And then, of course, we're going to do those quick little... Um, they're like shoestring bows, but you don't really like tie it. I don't know what you call this bow. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. We just do it really simple, easy, just fold it over. Um, who does those a lot? Who do I see be doing those? Um, six kids in a glue gun. That's who, um, I see do these kind of bows a lot. And she might actually be on this playlist as well, you guys, I think. Um... But look at these little bows are so cute, so fast, so easy. This is like the little easiest little DIY I've ever done. Now, inside that little fairy garden right here, I should have showed you a little close-up. I'm sorry I didn't. But you'll see it all at the final reveal anyways if you stick around that long. I just popped it on, but what it is, that little fairy thing in there, that's actually a beehive on there. And then I put this little fairy... Um, well, angel that I made making into a fairy. Just like that. That's it. That was so easy, y'all. So cute, too. It just fit right in with the, um, the next DIY I'm about to show y'all. So cute. All right, guys. These are so unbelievable, right? I, I'm so glad you guys are here. If you guys like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't, if you'd like to see more from me, okay? And I'm going to use my little Cricut Joy again because, you know, I used to be afraid of it and now I'm not. So we're going to use it. Here is another Dollar Tree sign, you guys. Look how nice this looks. They, they're just coming up in the world over there. And I use that Waverly Wax to kind of cover up that... What is that? I don't even know. What is that particle board or something? I don't know what they make these out of. Probably particle board looks like to me. Like press it all together and then paint paint it to make it look nice. I don't know. Huh. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dog snoring. He's pretty loud in the background here. Hopefully you can't hear him. But I can. He's sitting right next to me. He's really loud. So welcome to our... I forget what I wrote. Bee? Fairy. Okay, I did do fairy first. Fairy bee garden. <laughs> I thought this would fit with that cute little pot we just made. What you guys think? I thought that would look really cute next to that. So, you know, you'd kind of understand what that little pot would be if you was walk past it. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then it just has like a little beehive and two little bees next to it. So cute. This is cute. This looks like something you could get out of Hobby Lobby or something. And I just added little eyes with that jelly roll pin. And then I just glued these two together off that other pick that I had earlier that y'all saw me do already. We're just going to glue this down. Up at the top, and then I do add um, little pieces like this all around, just so it, you know, didn't look like it was just floating up there by itself. Because <laughs> that's what it looked like, like it was coming out the top. And then we'll hide that little in imperfection there. And then I do another one of those little quick little bows. Now, with this um, ribbon, you guys, there on one side is... you. It's like there's no pattern and then the other side there is so um, I decided to do this a little different on this one because you have to turn this one over versus the other way I like it so 
I just glued it on top just so it would stay, like glued it all so it would stay to the front. So the pattern would be all in the front instead of in the back, you guys. But that's pretty much it um, for this one as well. And I will show you more of it all to like at the at the final reveal, you guys. So if you're still here watching, I really, really appreciate you. I only have a few more left, but I saved my favorite ones kind of for last. And this one, I just cut out a piece because I really did not need the whole thing. And this is me making another wreath for you guys. I am not a wreath maker. I've never really made a wreath with a bike, a bunch of ribbon on it. So I may have to try to do that in the future. But this is me making mine. And I am using a chamois cloth from the Dollar Tree. I'm assuming this is probably for your car. But I'm going to make a DIY out of it. So I just... I'm going to use my little cutters here to kind of get off as close as I can without cutting the, the like circle. Um, trying to cut those off. But I did have a few of those go flying, so I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to find those in the future when I step on it. Yeah. <laughs> so here we're just going to cut around the outside. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm also going to cut out the inside, you guys. And this is where I really started burning my fingers on this DIY. I had to end up breaking out my little finger protectors because I swear I no longer have a thumbprint. And then I literally just am going to wrap this around just like so all the way around. It's pretty easy. It's pretty fast. Pretty simple. And then um, I'm also going to shape this into a, like a honeycomb shape, you guys. And I'm going to show you how I did that with using a frame from the Dollar Tree, okay? I just used this frame right here. And then I just kept doing that all the way around until it made the shape. And then where it bent, where it was like at the little corners, I bent it even more. And that's it. This is my reef. Pretty simple. I made this bow. I didn't want to give you guys, I didn't want to have to keep you around much longer because this video kind of, kind of is getting long here. But I just made this little bow from the Dollar Tree stuff. I used some more, the rest of those little lamb ear pieces on here. It's so cute, guys. I did end up adding a couple little extra of those, but because it, I don't know, it kind of looked not full. Now, this piece right here is actually off of something I did for Valentine's Day. Um, and I just ripped off the front part. It said Valentine's on the front part, but I ripped that off. It was like in, I forget what it was. But it was from Valentine's Day. I forget what it said. I think it said Valentine's actually on it. And I just ripped that off. Now I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to glue it down to this cardstock. And after that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and use my, um, what is that knife called? Zacto knife, I think. Yeah, Zacto knife. I'm going to use that and cut this thing out. Oh, sorry, my dog is going to bark, so I'm going to go ahead and push pause for a second. Okay, I think Miss Myrtle's done barking her brains out here at whatever sound she heard outside and that's my little baby doggy here my little puppy girls my chihuahua you guys i was blessed i got this dog from a friend that i worked with um at the clinic on base she had found this little pupper on myrtle beach she was hiding underneath a um a bread and breakfast that they were staying at and they found her and then nobody ever claimed the dog the whole week they that they were there and they brought her home and of course the landlord was wanting to charge the mother because they end up giving it to their mom and the landlord wanted to charge them like an, an extra hundred dollars a month to have another dog and they just couldn't afford it so i was like oh what kind of dog is it it's a pupper dog 
I'll take it. And it was a little chihuahua, and I love chihuahuas. They're actually my favorite dogs. Um, besides the cute little corgis, because they have the cutest little corgi butts. But anyways, I used that rub-on transfer from the Dollar Tree to spell out B, and then I used those Tim Holtz chit-chat to kind of just put, because, you know, it says B, so it'll say, like, B original or B whatever, um, which I'll show you that in the final reveal, what all those say, you guys. And then I used those Dollar Tree little bees all around this entire thing, and it turned out so cute. Okay, you guys, I think I have two more left for you. I, I'm using that frame that you saw me kind of frame out the last DIY. I'm going to use it. Now, I used those um, honeycomb pieces that were left over from cutting out um, from the from that first DIY that I did, or not the first, it was like a couple in, but that I used on the reef one that has the hanging bee on the ladder. I used the rest of those on this and just kind of made me a little pattern. And that's a picture of me and my daughter in the sunflower field by my house. And that's it. Now I wanted to secure this a little better and I ended up finding this bead garland. I put it around the entire um, photo frame here and then I'm just going to secure that down. Now I made me a flower out of the rest of that little chamois thing, that little chamois Dollar Tree cloth that I did with the last DIY. I had quite a bit of that left so I decided to make a flower out of it and sorry you're going to hear Miss Myrtle's mouth. Hey baby girl. Shh. Mom is doing videos. I know you don't even know. I wish you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then I used some solo wood flowers that I have in my stash here. And that's pretty much it for this um, DIY. And sorry, you can see my ring light kind of in there a little bit. But I will show you a closer, um, a closer look at this as well in the final reveal. And then I wanted to also cover up that little ugly imperfection in the back there because I'm being extra for some reason. I don't know why. So, you guys, I saved my favorite DIY for last. Obviously, I probably should have made it first, but I saved it for last. So, if you're still here, you're lucky and you get to see my favorite DIY today. Um, so, oops, you didn't get to see that very fast. Sorry, I had to speed this up because this gets really long videos. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of these Jenga blocks here, um, or not Jenga blocks. These are actually called tumbling tower blocks as well, but I find these at Five Below. Um, someone also said the Dollar General sells the larger ones as well. So now I also painted the little, they're called vase fillers is where I get them from, from Menards. But I know, um... Hobby Lobby has those brown beads as well, but they're flat on the bottom. Those would actually probably work a lot better for this. But I'm just going to use those wood fillers that I got from Menards that I already have on hand um, for this DIY today. So now I'm just gluing down two and then these two. And this is what it's going to look like when it's all glued together. And then I glued the head to this jar cap that I have. And then I also have a drinking cap from my water jug of water and I painted that as well and I'm going to put that on top of the hat to make it look like a little um, hat and then I got these from where did I get those Amazon my lovely friend Jackie um, from crafting in Mimi's world she um, had these on her channel and I had to go get me some so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and glue the cap down. And this actually fell over and that cap went flying, y'all. <laughs> like I said, it would be so much easier if you guys had the flat bead from um, Hobby Lobby versus mine is round. It doesn't have a flat, flat bottom. So that would be easier for this DIY. <laughs> but then I started taking this. Um, I forget what this stuff is called, you guys. I forget what it's called. It's not a ribbon, but it's, oh, why am I having a brain fart right now? I forget what that stuff's called. I'm sorry. Um, and then I took this lace that I got from the Dollar Tree and went around it. Now, I ended up doing it in the wrong spot. So 
I ended up having to cut it down and uh, make it fit because I didn't want it to be all like weird. And then this is the piece that I cut off that I had glued the first time and I decided I was going to make a bow with it um, to put on my little beekeeper. This is what this is supposed to be like and I wanted to keep it farmhouse looking. And most beekeepers are usually dressed in all white and have like a little black, I don't know, net thing around their face. I couldn't figure out where I was going to put that bow, y'all. <laughs> I ended up putting it right there. But what do you guys think? I can't wait to show you guys all these at the final reveal. The, these all just turned out so cute and I wanted to kind of incorporate all of them together. Now, you guys, I did try to go find some more of those little tiny bees that I used in that other dollar, um, in that other uh, DIY that I made, and I couldn't find any, but me and my husband went to Hobby Lobby, and we found some, and they were actually $1.19 instead of $1.25, and they are a little bit bigger bees, but I'm also going to put some bees all over this little guy, too, to kind of make it the final, like, touch. So, guys... Thank you for watching and here is the final reveal. First, I'm going to show you that pillow one more time just so you can have a little remembrance of the pillow and then we're going to get into everything hanging up and being on my honeycomb shelf because I do have a honeycomb shelf in my crafting room. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to watch um, everybody in the playlist today, you guys. And I'll link that in my description box. Okay, guys, this is my final reveal. Everything all put up against my wall here and on my little honeycomb shelf that I already had before I did this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. That really helps me grow. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Tasha. Thanks for watching.